Steps are small and supported by nurses, but a success to walk for Canberra man David Blutcher. On the New Year's Eve, he went to Stromlo Mountain, which should be a quick session to photograph the mountain bike riders. He was a hobby for 12 years. However, a driver was told that he lost control towards the end of the run and hit him quickly. Six of the ribs were broken and his family was initially told that he had a brain tremor. But their wounds were much worse. After he was quickly shot by a biker, David suffered serious spinal cord injuries. His spine was broken in several places and had have a long emergency surgery. Then he had to be transferred a long hospital in Sydney. I was intubated when I woke up here, David said to ABC from the hospital in Sydney. I was a clinically quantiplegic. Full legend the local mountain bike community was shocked by the accident and was upset. David has been publishing action shots free of charge for more than a decade and was known to Canberra's locals and visitors. MIC Longhurst, a friend and a mountain bike instructor, said, has an absolute legend here. Everyone I know is probably half of the photos of the social media mountain bike drivers here. David Blutcher spent hours to photograph mountain cyclists on Mount Stomlo, which was very pleased with the rider. The MIC and mountain bike community began to collect money to help the Blutcher family without being asked. So far they have received about 30,000. Here, I can think for the first time where someone who does not ride a fire on Stromlo Mountain was injured here. David was surprised by donations and support messages. As an indicator of how widespread David is the mountain bike community, one of the patients lying in a nearby hospital bed Sydney has a photo taken by David's social media profile. Knowing that support exists is warming the souls, David said. I want to accept the support I received, including my friends on Facebook. Good signs for healing. Although not complete David celebrated his birthday recently and is hopeful that he will be transferred to a hospital in Canberra in the next few weeks. David's wife Julie helps to celebrate her birthday in the hospital. After severe spine surgery, healing is always slow and can be difficult, especially at the end of the 70s. I have lost one year of my retirement effectively, he said, and pointed out that there are people who are worse than him in the hospital. I have a little way to go, he added. But the course is absolutely encouraging. I feel quite good right now. David took his first steps with the help of a frame and physiotherapists a few weeks ago. The spine injury disabled David's right side. But that comes, develops. The right side is better than before, he said. Signs are good for a reasonable recovery, although not a complete recovery. Despite the accident, David is finally determined to get back a bike and return Stromlo Mountain take photos again. Until the end of the Y.